again here on After the 80. Throughout the season, we've been covering the woes, the ups and downs of the Parramatta Eels throughout the season. Unfortunately, uh, another week and another uh, another issue for the for the poor Eels. And uh, at the moment, it's the big case surrounding Semi Rodrandra that's uh, been dominating headlines at the moment. And, and Bomber, what, what does this kind of uh, mean for the player group having this extra <laughs> extra episode to have to worry about now on top of the issues with uh, Kieran Foran and the uh, the competition points? Oh, well, obviously the allegations are <coughs> are serious allegations. They have to be proven yet. Yep. And, and and from from all reports, all, all the players have are behind Sammy and all that there. And yep. and I think they're a pretty pretty strong bunch. The, yep. the Eels players this year. I suppose they have to be after what's gone on this year with the salary cap and yep. Kieran Foran and players going and uh, and all that there. But yep. I think they're. They're holding up pretty well. They're still performing on, on, on the field, which is a big credit to Brad Arthur. So Yeah. Well, they've uh, copped a lot of attention in the media this year so far, and it's probably been, as Sterlo, I think, described one of the worst years for the Eels uh, so far. Um, with the uh, Now I think the focus is on uh, whether Kieran Foran will uh, hold on to his captaincy or whether or not he's looking for another club at the end of the season. Uh, would you like to see him stick around and, uh, after the troubled season that he's had? Oh, well, obviously, Kieran Foran, we didn't pay him $1.2 million there to just get rid of him after one year. Yep. He's a world-class player. I, he put in some good performances this year. Obviously, injuries and different things have yep. have curtailed the rest of the year for him there, but but, but I'd be keeping hold of him. Yep. Unless unless we're playing for Jaron Hayne, I'd like him to come back too. <laughs> but. Well, speaking on new players coming to the club and Chris uh, sneaking mid-season by to get Jeff Robson off the, uh, across the Tasman in, into the uh, into the role that Kieran Foran's uh, unfortunately not going to be able to fill for the rest of the season. Goodbye, do you think, from the Eels? I think so. I think he'll bring a steady. He's a very experienced player, Jeff Robson, and um, I think he'll bring that calming influence to the team. Yep. But on Kieran Foran, you just I I think they've got to stick with him yep. when when a player's going through something like that. I know his teammates will be around him, but if a club lets him go when he's having troubles like that, then they're not doing the right thing by the players. Yep. And I'm sure the Players Association will be um, getting around him as well. Yep. And just on the competition points as well, uh, still no word on when they'll actually lose the points at the moment, but is that, are they effectively ruled out of finals football at the moment, Nunny? Oh, I'd say they'd be pretty close. As a Broncos yep. fan, I'm hoping they lose points, but... Um... <laughs> But, yeah, I, I don't know. What's going on with the Eels? They're just a shambles. Yep. I don't know. There's not much more to add to them, really. <laughs> what about the former? They're uh, two players they've unfortunately have to upload uh, during the season with uh, Nathan Peets and Junior Paulo both having uh, great seasons themselves in new clubs. Yeah, I suppose they've found it. They're probably happy to be away from the place. Like, yep. as much as they probably didn't want to go, like, they're probably happy to be away from the drama at least like there's a yep. you know all that off-field stuff players can say oh I'm, you know i'm blocking it out or whatever but it has to affect you when things like that are in your workplace then you know mm. it's hard to ignore it completely even with uh the kieran kieran uh oh, sorry uh corey norman uh saga with the uh the the nightclub oh sorry it was the the, the biking casino. Owner. Yeah, yeah the no, casino yeah. in it yeah mm. yep um, you'd just be hoping some of those players started to keep their head down for the rest of the season, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. well, you'd be thinking that. A few of the guys need to uh, remember, no one ever gets arrested at a movie. Just go to the movies and go home. You don't need to be at the casino at 2am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's a problem. Well, unfortunately, even with Kieran Foran up here in Brisbane uh, attending rehab, he's been caught out uh, having a few drinks and, uh, and a bit of a gamble as well, and that's... Uh, you'd just like to see him have a bit of a, a spell away from the cameras for a while. Yeah, well, 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 obviously that was a while ago. It's just come out now when that he did miss a few things up here, and obviously with the alcohol and the and the the gambling thing, it, you've just got to get the right people around you. Yep. There's mm. there's one main person there. That he's a bit shady. Obviously mentioning no names there. <laughs> if you get good people around you, yep, everything's sweet. And uh, how do you think this is going to progress for the rest of the season? Obviously, they've been operating on a bit of a, a siege mentality, thinking that you know there's still a chance of making the finals. Getting to that point where they're probably going to lose enough points so that they'll put them out of contention. Is that going to change the way they play for the rest of the season? Oh, well, I'm sure it probably will. I know they're going to say they'll, they'll dig in still, but as the season gets longer and longer there and you're, you're playing for nothing there, it makes it hard to go to training and put the body through all the rigours knowing that it's basically going to be all for nothing. Yep. But 
But I'm sure they're professional enough. They're still getting paid their, their full money, so if they're not putting in there, I'm sure Brad Arthur will, will punt them back to the winning magpies. Yep. <laughs> Well, we'll definitely be keeping a close eye on the uh, Parramatta Eels as the rest of the season progresses and hopefully, uh, for Bombers' sake and, and the club itself, that there's the last uh, of the big issues behind them now and uh, we can look forward for, for a few more positive notes coming out of the Parramatta Club for the rest of the season.